What is cracking guys, JP here again, bringing you another update of my 90 gallon reef tank. So as of right now, the light is on for metal halide. This is 10k Kelvin. It's looking very nice. That's the only light that's on right now. But I did some rearranging. Um, we'll start from the right to left. So to the right, uh, this is going to be mainly SPS or hard corals. I finally moved my purple stylo right on top. Um, got my yellow porites right there. It's looking very nice. My pink's bird's nest, um, pavona coral back there, green one. Uh, got some pocillopora, some it's another. I don't think this is another stylo. Or Postulapora, I'm not sure. Looking very nice. They're much more colorful in person. Um, my camera is not picking up the colors. Got some Digi down here. The Montipora don't seem to like this uh, tank so far, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, my Montipora Lantana doing pretty nice I move my chalice and war coral in this area there's the platygyra some gold some acora some chalice yeah I moved them over here I also cleaned out a lot of the uh, extra LPS the hammer in this area and some uh, extra rock so it's much cleaner so you'll get that nice open uh, space. Uh, on the left side, I got my Zoas in this area. As of right now, I just placed them about yesterday. So they're starting to open up to the metal halide. Got many different kind on each their own frag plug and attached to a little rubble. The white ones, they are new ones. Well, the more greenish rock are the older Zoas. Uh, this Pally, the Sunny D, uh, there was some weird stuff going on. I don't see any nudibranch brank or anything, but there's the Ambipod will just climb on them and it'll close up. They're liking the highlight though. So most of these rocks are not touching. They're kind of just like very close to each other. So hopefully when they grow out or you know, they start prop, uh, getting more and more polyp, they will look very nicely in the front here. I got my GSP way back there. It's just uh, on its own rock. There's the Palatoa Grandis. Got my hammer here. Uh, this is the 10K light, right? like I said. So it's very yellow. Which it will grow corals like mad. Uh, my other chaos are, has already expanded like two polyps. So there's a little baby right there and then there's one back there. So it's liking the light very well. And the gobstopper, you can see there's two new polyps right there. So pretty good. Yeah. And then I glued a few of my torch coral on the rock right here. And then my bicolor frog spawn, I glued them down in that area there. I also cut it a little bit down because the stock skeleton was too long. So far they're liking this area, they're not retracted so that's a good sign. Flow seems to be okay, not too crazy. I don't know what's going on but when the metal halide is on, my blue-green chromis just likes to hide. <laughs> They're like, I'm staying out of the metal halide. I'm st staying underneath the corals. So yeah. It's 
shrimp is way back there. There's the uh, blood shrimp. It's alive and some blue green chrome is hiding. Cleaner shrimp right there. My snails are out and about. Pretty good. My margarita snails, or what is this? This kind of snail started spawning last week. Yeah, it was there was a lot of white smoke or sperm and eggs. It's crazy. Uh, there's a little cave here. You kind of see some of the blue green chromis swimming around. So yeah. This is my original crocus snail, still alive and kicking. So yeah, I really like the Melhalide 10K. It looks like in the o it's in an ocean, especially with the uh, white background. It's very, very nice. Like I said, once this fill in with some SPS on the top and the sides, it will look very nice. And then the Zoas will fill in. It actually looks pretty cool like this, this angle right here, because the overhang, that overhang right there is actually pretty, pretty long, like ha almost three fourths in this uh, kind of perspective. When you're in a straight perspective, it looks like it's just like very small. It's actually pretty long because it goes way in the back. It just goes deep, goes deep back there. It's like a nice angle right here but yeah and then when you really go up close like this it looks very nice because the white background it looks very shimmering As of right now, I think I'm all done with my Zoas on Pali Garden here. So I'm not going to add any more. I'm pretty much filled up. Maybe I'll do some Acan on the other side on that shaded area or about some brain coral. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to keep my sand uh, clean and open so I don't have a lot of corals uh, littered around the sand so much. So it's gonna be it's gonna look very nice oh I think the uh, actinic light just uh, bulb just turned on so it looks a little bit bluer now a little bit uh, like I said it's Mel halide and I got t5s bulb that's actinic right there so yeah it's very very bright Hopefully these zoas will fill in and open up and it's gonna look very nice up here. I know and with 10k uh, the coloration is not the best but some are showing pr very good promising coloration though. Especially the steel one right here. It's the pink zippers. It's a rainbow infusion. It's very looking nice. I said hopefully they'll fill in. I am still waiting for the tubs blue, so that should arrive soon enough. Probably next week. Yeah. It's like, I'm hiding. Nope. <laughs> it's looking very nice right here. Like this.
Well, yeah. For the filtration underneath though, same thing. Got my filter sock and look at the skimmer. Pulled a bunch of nasty crazy stuff. And I'm running on max. It's very, very somewhat dry, but it's it's pulling on and off. Kind of wet, semi-wet. That's very nice. Chato Morpha, let's turn the flashlight. Yeah, look at that. It's already so full. And crazy. I need to harvest this soon. There's no algae on it, too. Insane though. Oh man. <laughs> Crazy. Pretty good. Simple system. All right, so thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next update. Adios.